Last week you thought Marquise Lee maybe should have got the week off after his performance against Arizona. We're going to see Kenyon get the week off this week? No. No, not at all. He didn't, obviously, he didn't play enough in the first eight games, so we're just trying to get him on the par with his ninth game, so. What impressed you most about Kenyon after watching the tape? Anything stand out to you? No, you know, the one thing I think you noticed and that we were, we were aware of is that, you know, He's in such great shape and such great condition that he, you know, I think everybody else got a little bit tired, but he, he doesn't get tired, you know, and, you know, that, that analogy, he gets stronger as the game goes along. I just think it's a testament to how hard he's worked and prepared for this season. So. When you're watching that film, it's, obviously you're, you're trying to break it down, but at the same time, are you able to appreciate really what, what he accomplished in that game? Yeah, I mean, I saw what he did. He ran for 300 yards. It's an unbelievable day. So, yes. Is that what he's capable of, you think, in four, for four quarters? No, he he's not this? capable of it at all. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's capable of it. He did it. You know, give him all the credit in the world. You know, he went down there and, and played unbelievable. Had 38 carries, practiced full today, was back practicing today. So, you know, it's it's uh, he deserves everything he's getting. So. You got so he, recovered, he recovered well? How'd you, yeah. What did you feel like he got from him today? He like practiced full running. today. He was running, and he, he's ready to go. So. Don't you got great help from downfield blocking your receivers? Everybody did a great job. They did, you know, and that's what we've, we've preached since I've been here is, you know, receivers got to block and, you know, you can't be a selective participant at that position or any position. And, and our, our guys take pride in it and, and their goal for everybody in this football program is to win the game and whatever it takes. If we got to throw it every down, we got to run it every down, it uh, doesn't matter as long as we end up with a W and, and, and that's what that's what uh, this group's all about. I thought, you know, Josh Huff, uh, Will Murphy, Daryl Hawkins, Brandon Addison, a lot of those guys had a really, really, really good day out there. Marcus's performance is that pretty close to perfect? Um, I mean, he was from a throwing standpoint. You know, he was he was right there. So, um, but it, again, for all of us and everybody, we've we've moved on. You know, we're done talking about the USC game. We're our eyes are fully focused on the Cal games. Cal has sometimes been the Bay Area trip has sometimes been a problem. What are your thoughts going into the new Memorial Stadium and all that? I mean, I, we could care less where we're playing. The field's the same, so we'll go out there and prepare against it. You know. Got a lot of good athletes on the defensive side of the ball that we faced before. Um, you know, be interested to see what happens with their quarterback situation. They got three really good running backs in Cefeli and Anderson and Bigelow. So, um, you know, we're preparing against them. We don't worry about the stadiums we're playing in. So. Last time we went down there was kind of you know the, the 15 to 8 game. Yeah, uh, and, and the last about... time I went down there, none of these guys were there to be honest with you. So, you know, DeAnthony Thomas wasn't with us. A lot of those guys weren't with us. It's an entirely new year, so we don't look back at at something that happened two years ago. Um, you know, you learn from it as a coaching staff and. And you prepare game plans for it, but you know, the last time we played them out here, we, we did pretty good. But that means nothing either. Last year's game means nothing. This year's the two years games mean nothing. Three years games mean nothing. It's about this season and just getting ready to go down and play the team that we've seen on tape for eight games now. So, well, Mike thought you guys looked faster as an offense. Do you agree with that uh, that concept? Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know what he's comparing it to. You got to talk to him. So, what was it like having him back on the sideline? I, I mean, I don't notice who's on the sideline. So, there's a lot of guys that run around on our sideline. So. Sometimes you guys are on our sideline, so I really don't pay attention to it, to be honest with you. I'm look, usually looking out and focusing on the field. So, But anytime he's around this program, it's awesome because he's, a, he's, a, he's an awesome kid and, and uh, bleeds green and yellow. And you know, I, We talk to him a lot, and he's a, he, I love being around him, but I don't know when, who's on the sideline, who's not on the sideline. You know, see him after the game or before the game, but while the game's going on, you know. I know you're focused on this team, but are you surprised he hasn't played in the I have no idea what's going on there, so. You vote yet? For the Michael? No, you know, <laughs> the election, all that stuff. You it's fill out not till tomorrow, isn't it? I know, but you can fill out your ballot early. I had no idea that. So. All right. You ever talk to the guys about uh, civic duty and doing anything like that? Voting? James Harris and our, our, our life skills people talk to the guys about that all the time. So. What's your assessment of the defense? Um, you know, we, we missed some tackles, and that's what a little bit disappointing was our tackling, especially on. Um, you know, a, a couple of those plays where we could have gotten Lee wrapped up a little bit earlier and, and negated some of the big gains and things that we had been good at earlier in the year. 